Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on industrial electronics N2. Uh, in this platform, we have got the question paper of January uh, 2022 uh, that we are going to finish up on or number six now. So this is our question six, whereby we were given the first part, which is 6.1. Uh, that is thermocouples are temperature sensitive devices, as we know. Uh, show the construction of a thermocouple by means of a neat labeled sketch, just a sketch of a thermocouple. Okay, so I'm not going to waste much time. I'm just going to show you how it's supposed to be like. So that's a thermocouple there that you are given. So take note uh, on your connections and everything, uh, knowing very well that uh, here, we have got our, let me just indicate one or two things here that I would just need. Uh, this is our hot junction. It's not clear enough. Let me use this one. So we've got our hot junction there, uh, which is this part that you are going to have. So this is actually our hot junction. Then we've got the cold uh, junction here uh, that we have. Okay, the connecting wires that we are given, uh, depending with uh, the wire that we are given. So these are the ones that we have, uh, okay, the meter. So take note about the wire. So this is can be wire A and this one can be wire B. They're actually different wires that you're going to, to have. So that's what actually you are supposed to have. Just a sketch, guys. Make sure that everything is clearly indicated uh, on your diagram. Okay, so not wasting much time. Let's check the 6.2. Now we are given to explain the operating principle of the transducer in question 6.1. Which transducer is that one? The thermocouple that we had, okay, on 6.1. And that's four marks for the explanation. How does a transducer work? Which is a thermocouple? How does a thermocouple work? Okay, so that's it. When the temperature difference exists between the hot and the cold junction, a potential difference is produced. Take note, that causes a current to flow when a meter is connected to the terminals of the cold junction. The meter indication will be proportional to the difference in temperature between the hot and cold junction. So that's it. So there, the most important marks, as we are, can see, each mark related to underlined areas. So the areas which are underlined, these ones, are the most important. You are not supposed to miss any of that statement that is being underlined so that you can obtain full marks, which is four marks for that one. Okay, so not wasting much time. Let's check the other part, which is the 6.3. The 6.3, we are given that the input of a network consists of a 400 ohm techno. This is the input. So which means we have got the input resistance of 400 ohms. And, and that is the impedance, that's the resistance. And the current of 3 milliamps, which is in the input. So this is our input current of 3 milliamps. Calculate the gain of the stage if the output consists of a current we are given that on the output so let's just write this is our input and this is our output so on the output we have got a current and also an impedance so the impedance of 800 ohms and the output current of 10 microamps so that is what we are given and the question is for you to calculate the gain Okay, as we know that our gain is equivalent to 10 log P out over P in. So that means we can actually work with power. Yes, you can work with voltages, but just, just calculate power from what you're given. So as we can see, we need the power output, we need the input power. From where? From this information that we have. So from the input, let's have the input power. So the input power is going to be, we are given current and resistance. We know that current squared times resistance gives us the power. So this is resistance. Okay, just a little bit. Just hope we're gonna win here. So that is uh, current squared times resistance. So I'm just going to insert the values that we're given. Our current is three milliamps. Remember milli means times 10 to the power of minus three. So it's going to be three times 10 to the power of minus three squared times the resistance, which corresponds of 400 ohms. So that actually can give us the input power to this. Okay, let's check from our calculator how it is going to be like, because 
this is uh this is you can just you can just use a calculator direct okay open bracket three times uh 10 to the exponent of minus three that is to the power of minus three close the bracket to the power of two times 400 so that's it we can have nine over 2500 or 3 comma 6 times 10 to the power minus 3 so we've got 3 comma 6 times 10 to the power minus 3 watts or 3 comma 6 milliwatts remember to the power of minus 3 means milli so this is our input power okay we are going to move on calculate the output power from the requirements that we have all right we've got p out from r out and i out which is going to be the same thing that is I squared times the resistance. So the current is 10 micro, micro that's 10 to the power of minus six. So we're going to be 10 times 10 to the power of minus six squared times the resistance, which is 800 ohms. So by doing this, we are going to have the equivalent power, which is the power output. Okay, so let's just insert our values 10 times 10 to the power of minus six, whatever that we get here, we are supposed to square it. Then we multiply to 800. Let's see what you're going to have. We are going to obtain that eight times 10 to the power of minus eight. So that is eight times 10 to the power of minus eight watts. So this is our P out. Let's get back to the information so that we can calculate uh, the gain. Remember we said our gain is 10 log. So that means our gain is going to be 10 the logarithm of P out over P in, and our P out is there, which is eight times 10 to the power of minus eight over uh, the P in, which is the input that is three comma six times 10 to the power of minus three. So we have got our gain in this moment. So this actually requires us to use our calculator. So just going to use our calculator there for 10 log of, we have got a fraction here, that is eight times 10 to the power of minus eight uh, over uh, three comma six times 10 to the power of minus three. So this is times 10 to the power of minus three, close the bracket, uh, we have got the gain. So we are going to have negative 46,532. So that's negative 46,532 decibels. So that is the gain, a negative one. Um, from the information that we had. So it depends with the question, guys. Make sure that you understand the question. List in the, give the values that you're given. List them down so that you know how to calculate the power, uh, which can be the power A, the input power, or the output power. That depends with the information that you give. Sometimes you might be given voltage and resistance. That means you have to use a different formula than the one that we had uh, when we have got current, and resistance. So that's it, guys. Working on industrial electronics and two from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.